Okay, well, good morning, everybody. I think we should get started. It's just about nine o'clock. So I'd like to give everyone a, a warm welcome to the Quantum Monte Carlo training program, which is going to last all this week uh, at Argonne. Uh, I'm Paul Kent, a staff scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab, and along with uh, David Seppoli from University of Illinois, uh, I'm one of the main organizers. Uh, before going uh, further, I need to uh, acknowledge uh, our funding sources, which has made this uh, workshop possible. Uh, first, the uh, predictive theory and modeling program in basic energy sciences, and then uh, David's Quantum Monte Carlo calculations of deep earth materials uh, NSF grant. And I also need to give uh, a, big, a big thank you to our hosts, the Argonne Leadership Computing Facility here, who've been tremendously helpful in terms of all the logistics and a huge amount of uh, behind the scenes work. Uh, so on that note, i uh, just like to make sure everyone's on the, the same page at the start of this, uh, this training. So what are the goals of the training? Uh, well, three points. So first, we want to introduce the fundamentals of quantum Monte Carlo theory, so the background, the algorithms. Then we want to introduce the, the current methods that are used and then how they are applied in problems of physics, chemistry, and material science. And then we're going to be applying these through the QMC PAC code. And of course, a key part of that is that many of the QMC PAC developers are here, so there's an opportunity to discuss and so we have an ambitious goal, a very ambitious goal, and that is by the end of the week, you will have the knowledge to plan and run a research level uh, QMC calculation. Now this, of course, is, is ambitious and there's a lot of material. So one thing I'd like to stress, and this, this, is, this is optional, but we'd very much like to provide, at least within reason, ongoing support and assistance with your QMC research, so that if you go back to your home institution and, and hit upon a problem, please remain in contact and we'll, we'll do our, our best to uh, you know, so, solve that problem so you can be productive and use QMC in your research. So I'd really like to stress, please uh, discuss with us during the, the workshop the sorts of problems that you're envisaging tackling and we'll, as uh, best we can, provide some advice as to the practicalities of that and things you might want to bear in mind. Uh, <coughs> so all the lab lecturers or instructors are on this sheet and we all have yellow badges. So track down someone with a yellow badge during, the, during one of the breaks at lunch or at dinner, for example, to talk about the QMC research. Now I'd like to spend a few minutes on the logistics of this workshop. Uh, since everyone is here, um, everyone has solved the first problem of the shuttles. So we have these sh um, shuttles departing at 7.40 up to 8.20 from the guest house. And then a key thing is that at 5 o'clock, shuttles are beginning to, re to return to the guest house. Now, uh, walking and personal car are also options now that everyone has seen the route. And however, do bear in mind that we don't want to leave anybody here, but certainly if you wait too long, uh, walking will eventually become the only option. Uh, so please get on the shuttles at five. Uh, what about dining and breaks? Uh, we've already had the continental breakfast, and essentially both mid-morning and mid-afternoon, we're going to have a coffee break at a convenient time. Uh, and then between 12 and 1, we are actually going to walk. We're going to leave this building and walk to the Argonne cafeteria. Uh, to have lunch there. Now, everyone is responsible for their own lunch, but there's a broad variety of options there, so you can buy a, a small snack or something larger. And then at 6 o'clock, we're going to be having dinner back at the Argonne Guest House, and on Tuesday and Thursday, we have some guest speakers. Uh, first, on Tuesday, Paul Messina, who's the Director of Science at the Computing Facility here, is going to be telling us something about current and future uh, computers which of course provide the uh, essential horsepower for these calculations. And then on Thursday, uh, Professor Julia Garley, who's recently moved to the Chicago area from the West Coast, is going to give us a science presentation and uh, provide some challenges to Quantum Monte Carlo. Uh, so that's logistics for us. What about electrons? Uh, I think most people have, have worked this out looking at the number of open laptops, uh, but there is guest Wi-Fi in all the buildings. 
and essentially you log into one of the uh, guest networks, re go to a web page, there's a redirect, you fill in the information, and then after a short wait, you should then have uh, the e internet access. So what is the schedule throughout the week? And I should point out these are all linked uh, through this URL. So this is the QMC training website. And now if you go to the schedule, you see there are actually links through to all the presentation materials uh, that we will be uh, using. Uh, if you've downloaded some of these uh, last week when we started uploading, uh, please check for updates. <coughs> So essentially, uh, this morning, we're going to have an introduction to simulations and variational Monte Carlo. Uh, and this afternoon, I'm going to be giving a talk about the QMC pack code. And then we're going to have a lab focused on uh, Monte Carlo statistics and data analysis, which is, of course, central to the whole method. It's very important to do the statistics properly and, and robustly, for our predictions. And then throughout the week, we're going to gradually move to more advanced calculations. Uh, we're going to hear about diffusion Monte Carlo and wave function optimization uh, Tuesday morning. We're going to begin running some simple uh, quantum Monte Carlo calculations in the lab in the afternoon. Wednesday is going to be focused on molecular calculations. Thursday on solid state calculations. And then on Friday, we're going to give some um, uh, pause, some, some things to think about what you might, when choosing a quantum Monte Carlo project. Uh, we're going to have a note about obtaining computational resources, particularly for those of you um, from the US. Uh, and then we're going to have two uh, advanced topic talks on both on forces and non-adiabatic calculations. We've scheduled the rest of the day quite uh, lightly, as we know that many of you will be departing uh, throughout Friday to go home. Uh, but the lab will, will still be available. And many of the instructors will still be available to either continue setting up calculations or to discuss quantum Monte Carlo projects. So that said, um, I'll, I'll note actually that on Friday, uh, we'll be sending out a survey uh, to get your feedback on this uh, training. Uh, we'd very much uh, like information on how we can improve this uh, training course when we, when we give it again in another year, for example. Alternatively, if you have something that you think is important for us to know now, please talk to one of the uh, organizers. Uh, are there any questions at this point?